Hello, and welcome to Wyoming, home of the buffalo, antelope, scallop. Yep, and this is good friend Hunter Constantine. That's Tell me. them who you are. I'm Hunter Constantine. I'm a grandmaster in USPSA, and we're here to do just that. We're at the Magpul Governor's Match. We're gonna lay down some lead. Mm. Felt strong, mm. like that. <sighs> yeah. Like okay, so. Up. What do we want to teach them about today? We want to teach them that we're going to have fun. Yes. We're going to kick some ass. Yes. We're going to take Keep some going. We're going to take some names. Name. Uh, what else? What else? So, we're going to show you guys what it's like to shoot a USPSA match. When I was first starting out shooting, I had no idea what I was getting into. Welcome to Sports Center. Da da da. Can I have a banner at the bottom? Welcome to Sports Center. Yeah, we can put whatever we want, man. Yeah. So, your, your imagination is the limit. Um, so we want to show you guys what the USPSA experience is like uh, and show you what the day looks like while we're shooting the match and what you might experience. So you guys will see us shooting some stages, taping some targets, seeing other people shoot. The RO is doing their thing, which is a range officer. And they basically control the range. Um, and just educate you guys on what competition shooting is like because it is the best way you can improve your skill. And that's what you guys want. Some skills, you fucking idiots. What? You want bow hunting skills? Bow hunting skills, bow staff skills. Bow staff skills. What other bow tie Num skills? Nunchuck skills. Nunchuck skills. Yeah. Yes. All so, types of skills. All types of skills can be Girls here. only like guys with skills. That's true. Um, so, yeah. Sit tight and uh, come with us on this journey of Magpul. Wyoming Governor's yeah, Cup. There's a lot of Magpul stuff going on here. It's a Magpul yeah. match. I actually shoot for Magpul, full disclosure. Rolling? Holy. Was that a cartwheel? Yeah, you want to try to do double cartwheel over the oh, screen? Oh no, I'm going to get hurt. For Why me. not, dude? dude just I don't want to be hurt tomorrow. Holy. <gasps> Ow. See? Exactly. Ow. Dude. We want you guys to start shooting USPSA. We want you to get into competition. Mm -hmm. We're going to reward you. Because mm -hmm. everybody likes free shit, right? Of course they do. So what's going to happen is... Instagram. Instagram. Yes. You have to tag Gun Thoughts. Gun Thoughts. You have to tag Hunter Constantine in a video of you participating in a match. It could be USPSA, yeah. IDPA, Steel, whatever. We just, don't really care what kind. Just a match. And we will randomly select people as you tag us. And we need to make a hashtag. Hashtag Thoughts. Hashtag okay. mag thoughts. Hashtag mag thoughts. It's on the screen right now so that you don't spell it wrong. Cause tag us. Yeah. Use the hashtag. Mm -hmm. We'll randomly select some winners. There's going to be multiple winners to this. Some people could win. Some, some people could. could win. Yeah, but we want to give some stuff back to you. Mm -hmm. um, Magpul mm -hmm. likes, it's the people's furniture. It is. It's the people's magazine. Yeah. And it should be in every state. It should be everywhere. Because you could have a 30 round mag in every single state in the United States as long as you're not a bitch. Uh oh, we got the fuzz pulling up on us right now. Oh, yeah, I think we're in trouble. Because Hunter said bitch with such a with such a veracity. Yeah, is that a word? Yeah, veracity. Yeah, yeah. I think it, I think it was a dinosaur. Yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you through the stages that we're shooting. Mm -hmm. Um, and just bring you with us on this experience. So you see what day in, day out looks like shooting, scoring, having fun. Yeah. I might, I might dance. I might hug some people. I don't think Guaranteed. Hugging. It'll happen. I'll hug right now. We're here day one. I don't know if the camera can hear us, but it's day one, Magpul Wyoming Governor's Match. We're starting on stage 10. We're about to get shooting, and you're gonna be in for the world win of fun. Oh my god!
Governor, my name is Hunter Constantine. Yeah. Nice right. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, we have a YouTube channel. Okay. And we're doing a whole review of this match. Okay. And we're wondering if you'd like to say um, a couple words about like the match or just sure. outdoor sports or whatever it may be. Can we help them yeah. Uh, you want me to talk to you? To talk to the cameras. Yeah, fine. cameras. Fine. Yeah. Well, welcome to the Magpul Governor's Match. You know, in Wyoming, Second Amendment is really important to us. Not just because of the Second Amendment, but because of what it allows us to do. The fun we can have out here at a match, the fact that we can have kids here and we can enjoy uh, teaching safety uh, and being able to shoot, and then especially the fall when we can really go out and, and enjoy our great outdoors and, and have a couple of days of hunting, that's, that's fabulous. Uh, this is a great match. It's been well put on for the last several years. We are thrilled to have people come and uh, enjoy Wyoming. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm a traveler. I came all the way from Arizona for this match. Really? Yes. God bless and you. Second year in a row, and I'll keep coming back every year to have Fantastic. So much fun. Fantastic. So, well, thank you. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. We just got done. Stage two. Dose. Dose. Uh, you did really well. Yep. Um, Alpha Shout Machine. Out. Alpha is Machine. What this man's been calling me the last couple stages. One Charlie. Yeah. So I had uh, 40, 40 out of 41 shots in the center of the target. It's impressive. You weren't too far behind on I wasn't either. too far off. I had uh, three Charlies and a Delta. I thought the camera stopped rolling on top of my head. It was a moment of the I bagged off the target, but and that happens too. Sometimes the littlest distraction can disrupt that closely. And it is it's some game of itself. It snaps the back end. It's just not from just close to Go read uh, the inner game of tennis.
Ready. Stand by. Stand by. So we are now on stage five out of six for the day. Uh, why don't you talk about that real quick while you just stuff that magazine? Uh, yeah, uh, doing okay. I feel like I'm on the balance beam right now between trying and uh, just totally giving up and going bananas. Mm -hmm. So I think all it takes is like one bad stage and I'm just gonna just let it all go. Just fucking go, 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 go. Keep talking. I think you need to dial it in because you're doing really well so far. But hear me out. Yeah. The uh, minute what if you I went go zero well? or hero, it's going off the rails, and I know it. Oh, 100%. It. I saw yes. it last year. I don't, I don't, I don't have bananas. We're not looking at it. No bananas. So you have to try on the next, next bag. Try on yeah. the next bag. Control. Yeah. Lock it in. Yeah. Need tools? What's yeah. What yeah, I've got that. Next so, game. Absolute stuck. You want to chop a scene. 793. You want to chop a scene. See these right here? Yeah. These are pasters. You want to know where they go? Up your Charlie. On my Charlie. targets. Let's see that. Alpha. So they, the RO came through here, yes. scored this target, these supple, delicious alphas. And we're going to take this paster, and we're just going to cover it up for the next shooter. And then we're going to go to the next target and cover up this alpha. Oh, no, that is beautiful. And then pasting. we're going to cover up this Charlie. And that then we're going to cover up this Charlie. Could you please refer to those as almost alphas? Almost alphas. Yeah, yeah. And then not maybe deltas are not you, so you much alphas. See me, you want to see me paint the barrel where he shot through the barrel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so let's, let's tell us what you're doing really quick. For, Painting because he shot through the barrel and didn't get it, and he got a big mic on that one. He got a big mic. Big. Mic. I mean, it's better than a little mic, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Michael motorcycle. Love it. So we're here at the end of day one of the Wyoming 
Magpul, Governor's Match. Governor's Cup. I think Governor's Cup. Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) This match has more arrays, more targets, more rounds than almost any other level two that you could shoot in USPSA. Like we're, I think we're over 200 rounds for the day. Definitely. And we're only, we only shot. Halfway through. Yeah, which is more than some. We're going to be doing like. I think 460 ish probably total yeah which is crazy for a 13 stage basically yeah. 13 stage 10 bay match because we had three mini stages today that basically counted um as one yeah i had some eggs for breakfast i drove up here and then hunter showed me how to do all the stages and i simply did what he told me to and uh it went great yeah went super chill super easy how many grams of protein did you eat today uh 20. That's it. That's it? Before Even after di- the steak? No, not including the steak. Okay. And then I had some, well, no, those bars had like 10 grams of protein, so like 30. 30. So it's been it's been a rough day for me, boys. Bro, include the steak. Uh, Pound of beef? Uh, yeah, probably 200 then, right? Pound? I don't, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Like 300. Dude, dude let's just say I'm getting jacked. I was the alpha master today. I crushed so many alphas all day long. It was insane. Probably some of the most accurate shooting I've done. But so the stages we shot today were very straightforward. Um, it was very positional. You got there and you just had targets ready to start shooting. In USPSA, we're shooting points per second. Yes. Uh, it's hit factors, factor. hit factor scoring. So it's your points divided by your time. People make a big deal out of it, thinking they can't understand it, but it's just points per second. You collect points with how accurate you are on target. And obviously your time is how long it takes you to shoot everything. So your stage plan is a reflection of your firearm skills and fundamentals and how well you can efficiently move through a stage. We are us two. Not him. Are leading carry optics right now with very high percentages with only shooting half the match. I think I'm sitting like fifth in carry fifth in carry optics yep. here, seventh. Yep. And we haven't shot five stages. And the only people in front of us are people who have shot all of the stages. Yes. Yes. So it's it's been a good day. A, we're doing okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. So let's uh, let's hear about your day. I have not punched quite as many alphas in the targets as Hunter. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. We had a little bit of visualization failures. We had a little bit of rushing our vision, but it's things that we're working on, things we're working through, and it's lessons that we're learning here at the range, which is great because there's a lot of value that you can get out of shooting this many stages over the course of two days because you really do see where things break down and it gives you a list of things that you can take and work on on your own. Yeah, I'd like to add on that. So. Um, matches are where you get to practice executing your skill and where you get your ammunition for practice. Not physical bullets you're shooting, but what you need to practice. One of the most common questions I get is like, what drill should I be practicing? And the easiest statement for that is, I don't know, because I don't know how you shoot. I don't know where your skill level's at. But when you're shooting a match, you can see deficiencies on where you're slowing down or making mistakes, and that's what you need to focus on in practice. So every time I shoot a match, there's always going to be something I want to work on. And I'll take those aspects of shooting and bring it into my practice until I feel good about them or until I have the next match and I have to send it. Um, the drill you should be doing though is the build drill. Let's move on to the guns that we're shooting. Okay. And you haven't talked in a little while, yeah. so you start. Yeah. Actually, I'll hold this for you. That's actually really nice. That seems good. Uh, yeah. So this is the uh, same, the same Beretta that we use in the video or whatever. Uh, this gun has literally been floating around my truck for months now. What um, kind of Beretta is it? Tell us about uh, it. This is the Langdon Tactical. Uh, LTT Elite. Yeah, the LTT Elite. Uh, it's literally bone stock. I just put an SRO on it, some grip, um, some grip panels, and I've not cleaned it in probably like 5,000 rounds, um, shooting a lot of dirty ammo. Um, I meant to clean this gun. I simply did not. So I think that's a good example of you can kind of not give a fuck and rock up to USPSA and still be able to shoot a match. So Beautiful. Let's talk Fantastic. about where you're shooting. Okay, so we have got right here CZ Shadow 2, popular choice. So dark, so shadow. Popular but overrated choice in my opinion. Um, it's an okay gun. It's a boat anchor with these brass grips. I don't recommend brass personally. Um, I'm trying a different grip profile and I'm liking it, but I have not seen them available in aluminum yet. When those come out, I will probably get that. Shout out to SRO, um, some springs, and some Dremel. Dremel. Yeah. 
Dremel, Gunsmith baby. at home, Dremel, baby. Dremel. They do call him the M and P Daddy for a reason. Yep. Um, I think the official name that Smith and Wesson said was President of the M and P. My favorite striker fire gun on the market, due to the Apex Tactical Trigger and the Apex Tactical Barrel. This trigger is insane. It has a very minimal reset. It has a crisp, clean break. Uh, it's just under three pounds. And Apex Tactical goes through treacherous testing to make sure it's drop safe. Um, and you can just rip on this thing. The ergos are great. I have a direct cut with the new Holosun 507 comp. Mm -hmm. This thing is a massive, massive window. It's green dot because I'm colorblind. I can't see shit. So the green helps me pick up targets faster. Um, and there's just minimal modifications to this gun where I picked it up, put a trigger in, put a barrel in, a couple of those small things, and I'm shooting it in the match. Similar to this guy over here, this also hasn't been cleaned in about 4,500 rounds. Uh, and it's shot national so far and the governor's cup fantastic sensational what do you think of the man p uh i want to shoot it really bad it seems super cool the trigger's super light but it's a pretty cool pretty cool glock i like it yeah it's a good glock <laughs> it's a 360 dollars gun i'm probably all in with optic and triggers for their everything probably thirteen hundred dollars sensational every time we say that i want to put the future thing cut in we will. Sensational. sensational so when i first started uspsa i made a very very large expensive mistake i went out and bought a 2011 shit and a belt and mm -hmm. holsters and all this race bullshit shit that you don't need when you start out okay God. and uspsa is very accessible and at a level one match, people are just going to welcome you with wide open arms. So if we were one human, yeah, this but, is how wide their arms would be. Mm -hmm. And then they're gonna grab you. And, and yeah. this is about how wide you are most likely. So. Yeah, if you're sitting at home in your basement yeah, watching this gonna, YouTube. They're gonna eat you up like a little piggy. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing is that you can go to a match and shoot the gear that you have. So if you have some battle belt with a leg strap, go to level one, shoot it. If you have a duty belt in your law enforcement, go ahead and shoot it. If you're running concealment from appendix, which I do, shameless plug for my belt, I have the best concealed care belt in the market. You can also shoot it from concealment. So I've shot many matches. I shot a... a what, what is our code again? Is it thoughts or thought? Um, I think it's thought. Thought. Code thought uh, if you want um, mystery percent off of a hundred copies. It's five. Instagram. I want you to tag me in your best meme on Instagram. Okay. And whatever I deem the funniest meme, I will send you a free belt. They make a meme from this video. Yes. Yes. Gun thoughts meme from yes. the Magpul Governor's match. Yes. Doesn't have to include the governor, but it could. It could if you're funny and you think he's funny. Or Jerry. Yeah. Or Jerry. Mm -hmm. Jerry. Or any of us. Lots of good moments that haven't even happened yet that you could meme. So, yeah, best, best meme that comes out of this video gets a free belt, period. The other thing is that you can find matches at practicescore.com. Which we slash gun thoughts. Slash gun thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, I don't even know about this shit. Uh, um, you know, another way is there is a club finder feature on the USPSA website. I know that it's uh, politically incorrect to say good things about USPSA, but the club finder does work relatively well um it is a way that you can find clubs in your area because sometimes they don't post the matches in advance on practice score and it can feel like there are no matches in your area but trust me there there likely are um yeah the other thing i would say is the people there are super nice and they're there to help you out as a new shooter so i've seen people lend new shooters their belts their guns ammo. magazines ammo basically everything you need um, the people will take care of you. Yeah, you'll get taken care of. They'll show you the ropes. They'll show you what to do. Um, for as weird as a lot of them are, they're super nice. So you're going to be in good hands. Tomorrow, we've got some big field courses. Big ass, dude. Very technical. They have 75 yard shots tomorrow. Mm -hmm. What? 75 yards. I just realized I had to go home. <laughs> uh, is there anything else we should leave them here with at the end of day one? I think, we're, I think we covered it all. Michael Jackson's not dead. Where is he living? Argent Argentina? Argentina? Where? He's right here in Casper, Wyoming. Did you see him today? He was at Albertsons last night. He bought 20 pounds of dry ice. 
Well, guys, thanks for tuning in to day one. This has been Gun Thoughts and Hunter Constantine, and we're signing out. Something like that? I don't know. Beginning of day two, feeling dangerous today. Those alphas don't know what they have coming. So we're here day two, the Wyoming governor's match, and um, we've got three stages left. We're about to shoot one. Uh, we're doing pretty good right now. We're just trying to keep it clean, finish strong, get a good finish here. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, he's gonna be up second here. So he's getting some last minute visualizations in. Look at all these fine individuals just visualizing their stage plans, getting it ingrained in their brain so that they can just execute that shooting phenomenally. Look at that, he's reloading right now. And bam, 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 ting, ting, bam, bam. That is way faster than he's gonna shoot that for real. That's way faster than he's shooting that for reals. So let's hope he slows down and gets his hits on this one. Are you ready? Stand by.
Stop. It was, it was, it's over here. I'm not sure clear. I'm not sure clear. Clear, hammer down. Goes left, right, to left. Holster. Range is clear. Stand by. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the after action review of the Wyoming Governor's Cup. Magpul. How's this sound? By Magpul. By Magpul. Um, it sounds probably terrible, but you know, that's okay. So we've finished up shooting the match. We finished here on the Chrono stage, which, uh, you know, it's not really a stage, but bullets do go down range and power factors were made. However, there was a tragic event along the way and you know, um, I don't want to steal your thunder, Hunter, so I'm going to let you. I unfortunately was disqualified from this match due to a 180 call from an RO. Yeah. We will now play that and see if you guys agree with this 180 degree call. Yeah, so while you're watching that, in the comments below, let us know if you see a 180 there. Let us know if you don't. Yep. Um, I don't think that any of us really saw it there. Mm -hmm but sometimes life is unfair and we must persevere. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like we said, USPSA is about having fun and I've got to spend two days with new friends sharing laughs on the range. Still a win in my book, but unfortunately I won't take home the plaque, but I hope the tall one yeah, 
we shall see, right? Thank you. Gets to take it home. It's going to be super close. We don't know what scores are yet. Everybody just stopped shooting. So we probably have, from this time when we're filming, 45 minutes to an hour until scores are posted. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's okay because... In the meanwhile, while we wait to find out how things shook out, um, we're going to take you all on a little adventure here where we uh, try to find some interesting characters, try to talk to some of the vendors here, try to get some free stuff for you guys because yeah. we know that you guys are freeloaders who love free stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I, I, I even like free stuff. Everybody likes free stuff. I just want to... Free stuff is cool. I just want to be free. Look, I paid money to be here. I want free shit. Yeah. Set us free. Oh, also last year I won a Magpul rigger knife uh, from this thing and apparently it's worth a lot of money, but now it's in the trash can at the Denver airport. So I want that back. If you work for TSA, give it to me, please. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Denver airport, it's where the elite pedophiles go when the world ends. Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, um, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of USPSA personally. It takes up a lot of my time. Um, it feels like a waste of time to me a lot of times. But I had a great time here. I learned a lot about shooting. I know what I'm going to go for, do going forward with my shooting. So pretty cool experience. Got to meet Hunter. Got to hang out with him. He's dope. And you, dope. you yeah. should you should listen to all of these guys opinion wow correct correct period especially when we're True drunk and based and good yeah. Based and gun thoughts. yeah that's a based and gun thoughts pilled opinion right mm -hmm. there so um if you don't own a drill press you should go to harbor freight and get one and if you don't know why you should own one you shouldn't own a gun uh make sure that you clip the coupon before you go buy that drill press because it'd probably be like 50 percent off and uh, saving money, a penny saved is a penny earned, guys. The best way to double your money is fold it in half and put it back in your pocket. Fantastic advice, fantastic. We're gonna leave it on that, guys. All right. All right, guys, we are here with the legend himself, Jerry Mitchell. This is one of the figures that won, that got me into shooting Smith & Wesson MP9s. I have three more of them. I work with some of the guys over there, too. Okay. And, um, it's an awesome match. You know, it's awesome to see you just competing. You, you won Super party. Senior for the match. Yeah. Yep. Blue, black, 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 Laying down some awesome Pink. points. Um, so this video is to introduce people to US PSA and shooting sports. So what message would you give to new shooters that are interested in shooting this sport? If you're interested in practical shooting, the best thing to do is to go to our competition. Don't buy anything till you go there. Talk to the guy shooting. You'll get more advice than you can possibly handle. But you get a chance to see equipment before you buy it, and you can determine what division you might you might want to enter, and it save you a lot of money and time. And if you come out to a competition and ask questions, everybody here is going to help you. That's that's for sure. But just in the true Jerry tradition, yes. Can we get a hail and a get some? Yo, get some, bro. Hey, thank you, John. Right. That was awesome. Good. Next guys, nice. mind your video tape real quick? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. Interview with you guys. I have one question for you. How many rounds of 10 millimeter do you think you fit in your mouth? Yes. Over under 20. Oh, over 20. Probably. Over 20? I got a big mouth. That's what my wife says. Yeah. <laughs> so. Under. So under, yeah. I'm definitely an under guy. Okay. Awesome. I well, thank you guys for being out here. Hey, really could you guys tell us a little bit about um, what you guys brought out today and what you're doing here? Okay, so we, we've been sponsoring the Governor's Match since 2019. We've been one of the sponsors here. We bring out ammo. We make it all here in Wyoming in, in the little town of Opal, or Opal, depending on how you pronounce that. Okay. It's spelled Opal, but we keep people there call it Opal. Uh -huh. um, we pride ourselves in making a high quality ammunition, very clean burning powders. So, so when you shoot our ammo, you can run 500 rounds of our 9 through your gun and it'll take you two swaps to clean it. We're here. Oh, okay. we're, we're live in the Aegis Gun Care booth. Uh, first of all, introduce yourselves and what do you guys offer? Okay, my name is Rod Gates, this is my wife Shelly. We are the owners and founders of Aegis Gun Care. And like it says, gun care. We, our main company, everything is built around our two proprietary products. We have our cleaner, we have our lubricant. Our cleaner is non-toxic, non-caustic, non-flammable, and destroys carbon. We love well. destroying carbon. Yes, I hate carbon. <laughs> carbon That'll is I, enemy. I hate carbon. <laughs> and then we go to our lubricant. 
So, so one thing we're also offering for our viewers at home is would you be interested in maybe providing a cleaner and lubricant bottle as a giveaway for someone to try it? For, for you guys? How about we do one better? Okay. How about we, got? we provide one of our field gun cleaning kits? Field a whole gun cleaning kit. It has one all lucky that stuff winner right there in it. All right. And what do you what do you want the person to do to win that? How about we just let you guys decide for your thing? All right. We Perfect. like it. How about Perfect. we just give this kit to you guys and then you do a contest right. and give it away? So Sounds great. I'm just gonna call it right now. Right now. Tag us on Instagram with your dirtiest gun. Ooh. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. All we had asked is you should tag us too. Tag them. Tag Ages us. Tag them. Gun care. Ages gun care on Instagram. When whatever is in that thing. So I have a question for you. How does it make you feel knowing you had to clean my gun in like six thousand rounds? It makes you feel like me. I have a home, at home I have a safe full of dirty guns. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about your company, what you're doing out here, what you sell. Okay, so this is Victor Company uh, okay. um, USA. We just moved to Wyoming from California. Okay. And um, we are here at the match um, because we'd like to support. Um, we That's have awesome. universal items. Uh, we have a universal cheek rest that fits on pretty much anything that's a 1.4 comb mm -hmm. width. We have two versions. Ooh, that's How very is that? Isn't that cool? That's our brand new over molded one. It just came out two months ago. Um, a widened magwell for easy release. There you go. How's that feel for you? That fit right? You need a cheek riser on there. Is this a kid one? No, that's full size. This is, oh, okay. All right. that is I was going to say, I'm a big man, so. <laughs> well, you might need, like, the pull. That's a savage with our cheek rest on it. Drop the drugs! That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I want the gold one. Oh, I love my. I had my gold gun out earlier with my name on it. Ooh, that's nice. Yep. Show me your hands. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the Wyoming governor's match. We had a good time, didn't we, Hunter? Why don't you tell us what happened? Yes, we did. Kachow, because you're the winner. First place master class in carry on. I'm up in the air. But um, that's not all. You also lost. I was also the first place loser of carry optics by 0.21%. And that made me both happy and sad at the same time. You're a winner and a loser. Man, what do you got, what'd you do to the guy afterwards? You know, I was walking out into the parking lot and I saw him celebrating with his friends. So I walked over there and shot him a very dirty, nasty look. But he was what too busy do? celebrating to have fun, to just even notice me. Can you believe no, that? No way, that guy was just probably too happy to notice because he won. I can't imagine that feeling right now. Man, that sure sucks. You know what else sucks? Getting DQ'd. Man, you're right. I felt terrible after that happened. Yeah, that looked really not fun. But the good news is that usually doesn't happen. So you, viewer, should not be discouraged from trying shooting sports. Shooting sports is fun and helps you become more proficient with your firearm. Usually, ROs aren't NPCs and FUDs that make you get disqualified for something that they didn't see because they didn't have the correct glasses on. Usually they're very nice individuals and are welcoming to you and you and you. And you. And you know what? Some of the ROs even want to help you shoot by giving you things like holsters and guns and ammo. And speaking of giving you things, we also want to give you things. So make sure you watch so much... the whole video. We have so many things and stuff for you. Thanksgiving's coming early. It's coming so early sure. and it's coming on Instagram. It's definitely not coming in the comments. But we're coming. If you see someone trying to give you something in the comments, that is your sign to run away. Now, let's all shake hands because we are good sportsmen. Yes, so good, the sportsmen. And, and let's uh, all jump in the air, whoa. Wow, yeah, whippy, woohoo!
Oh, Skinny yeah, fun. Uh, uh, ha, ha, see you guys later. Ha, 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 ha. Super tetrafragilistic osteoporosis. 